When I need some good kosher food, there's only three words I need to know. Feed me Bubby. sweet and sour meatballs and show you three different ways that it can be served. In the beginning I'm going to give you some explanations. When I was growing up we didn't have a food processor, a blender, and so this is what we had. A wooden bowl that was not varnished, a plain wooden smooth bowl, and a chopper. We used to call it a hack messer. So I know that everybody knows how to use a processor or a blender or even use your hands to mix it, clean hands to mix it, but just to show you how we used to do it, I'm showing you the old-fashioned way. Take a pound of lean Hamburg to start. And then a cup of soft breadcrumbs. Two tablespoons of minced onion. And about a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. I like a lot of garlic powder. I like the flavor. And you can use fresh, but this is all a matter of convenience and time saving. Plus a little dash of pepper. Mm, that should do it. A little salt if a person likes it extra salty, but nowadays everybody watches salt content, so I leave it out. And a beaten egg, just slightly, so it'll bind everything together. Okay, and here it goes. Here's my hot mess up. And this is the way it works. And blend it all together, turn it side to side, keep turning it, and blend it. You'll see that you have what a time saver the processor is today. There we go. You get the idea, right? Okay, next thing, we have to make the meatballs. And before we make the meatballs, I like to make, I like to make all the meatballs at once. Then I can put them in the frying pan all together. See, you have to take it off here. It's not as simple as, as it is today with a processor. One, two, three, and you're done. All right, everything is mixed well. And then we go to the next step, making the meatballs. I don't like to make them too small. This way I can, oh, about a little, what would you call that, about an inch and a half in size. And generally I get about 20. It makes it comfortable to put a toothpick in and also makes it comfortable to serve over rice. I like to use brown rice, health, healthy reasons why. And also, I've even made a sub sandwich and I'll show you how I do that. over here I've got grape jelly two-thirds of a cup jelly now remember it has to be jelly and then chili sauce also two-thirds of a cup right there and they're easy to come by just have to check to make sure you've got the right grape jelly the kosher kind put it on medium high and then I have to add a tablespoon of oil to get it started. <clears throat> We're almost there. You don't have to be fancy. They'll all come out well and, and the taste is what counts. Go over to the stove. And a tablespoon of vegetable oil. should do it. Make sure it's if the frying pan is hot. Okay, ready? The oil is hot. Get 
your meatballs in. <coughs> I'm going to put a cover on it so that they can pound it brown and get some of that fat which we don't need out of the meatballs. Cover it and we'll return to it in about five to six minutes. All right, it's now time for the Yiddish word of the day. Bubby, what's today's Yiddish word? Fleishik. And fleishik means meat. Fleish means meat. And so we have fleishik knedlich today. Knedlich means balls, like matzo balls. Fleischeke Knedlach. Today we have sweet and sour Fleischeke Knedlach. So the word is Fleischek? Right, there's Fleischek. Milchik is dairy. Parif is. You know, well, we only need one word, one word for today. today. Fleischek is Fleischek. Okay, you can have it for today. Fleischek. Fleischek. Okay? Good. We'll be right back. Okay. All right, now we take the cover off and we take the meatballs and put them in a separate plate because I have to drain all the fat off. No one wants the extra fat, yet we want the taste. So this way we have the benefit of both, all right? They, oh, they look beautiful. Wait till I finish product, then you'll really see something. Very, very good. Pour off all the fat. We don't need that extra fat. It gives the flavor, which we've gotten. Now we don't need that. Now we have to make our sauce, and here it goes. Here's our grape jelly. Oh, and keep the uh, frying pan on medium, a little medium high, so that it will dissolve. It has to dissolve. And here's our chili sauce. Funny combination, but the taste is delicious. Would, ever, would someone ever believe this combination would produce such a delicious sauce? And you have to stir it until it melts. And then we'll put the meatballs back in and cook it a little longer. So make it on medium high so it'll dissolve a little faster. You want to take a look, see this? This is what it looks like. And it has to melt, literally melt, and the heat from the uh, so burner will melt it. Just stir it. It takes a, a few minutes, you know, you, because you don't want to burn the sauce and you want it to melt. Burning, then it won't taste right. See how smooth the sauce is? Now I'm ready to put the meatballs back in. Just take it slowly and let them slide off the plate. There we go. And with your spoon, try to gradually cover all the meatballs. And now, see how beautifully colored they are and the stock sauce has thickened. So we'll shut our burner off and then we move it to the plate. Look how nice and thick and rich the sauce is. And each meatball is coated beautifully with the sauce. It's going to be delicious. Three different ways that I serve these meatballs. Oh, oh, one very important thing. You know these can be made ahead and frozen, and you can make them ahead and leave them in the refrigerator, and they taste even better, because as they stay in the refrigerator and then reheat them, the sauce seems to go into them more. Okay, now I'm gonna pour some of the sauce over my brown rice, and then I'm gonna add some of the meatballs. That's one dish. I'm going to add some of the sauce into my sub, and I'm going to add meatballs into that. And then, next step, take my meatballs and put it on my, the rice. And this can be served as a main meal with a, 
a green vegetable or whatever, and you have a delicious meal. The other way, <clears throat> the children, my grandchildren like it this way. Take the meatballs and put it in the sandwich, and it gives it such a good, delicious flavor with a nice cold glass of ice water. It's out of this world. A little more sauce. And then, if you want hors d'oeuvres, you have guests coming and you need something ahead of time. This is very easy. Bake it ahead of time. Heat them up, put a little toothpick in each one, and serve it this way. No matter how you do it, the taste is out of this world. And I've got many compliments, and I'm sure you will. And it's easy. Believe me, I've tasted all kinds of meatballs. I think mine is number one in flavor in every way possible. Ask us today and enjoy. Are you ready for my meatball sandwich? Or my rice and meatballs? And extra, if need be, on the side, sauce and whatever. Here we go, enjoy. See you next time, and I'll try and have something really special. Hope you enjoy Eskazun today. Hava nakila hava nakila hava nakila do 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 do.